sitting down with one of the newest Denver Broncos, Kareem Jackson. Uh, Kareem, congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, why was Denver the right fit for you? Um, just the tradition, tradition here, you know, um, the guys that are here now, um, got a great team, great organization, you know, um, so I felt it was a great fit for me, you know, obviously the city of Denver, you know, a great city. I've been hearing a lot of great things here, so um, I'm just, just ready and anxious to get here and, you know, and see it all for myself. Uh, you flew in with Joe Flacco and Juwan James? Yes. How was that whole flight process? Uh, it was a late flight, so it was kind of napping on there, but... Um, I mean, those are two great guys also. You know, I had a, the privilege to play against those guys, you know, for so many years. And, you know, to get a chance to be on the same team with those guys and, you know, to have the same goals in mind, you know. So it, it, it's going to be great. We know that versatility is your strongest suit. Where do you feel more comfortable, at cornerback or at safety? Um, honestly, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, for me, it's just all about switching my mindset you know, preparing, you know, for that week, you know, whoever it may be, you know, in whatever position I may be at. So um, for me, it's all about whatever the team needs me to play, you know, and I'm, I'm always willing to do that, you know, and I'm, and I'm capable of doing it. So, you know, it's definitely not a problem for me. And most cornerbacks don't tackle like you do. Uh, right. What's your mentality with tackling? Uh, for me, man, just, just depends on the situation. I mean, open field, obviously, you just got to get them down. But you know, if I kind of, if I can get a chance to really, really put a hit on them, you know, whether, wherever it may be on the field, you know, for me, it's, it's I just try to turn to a heat-seeking missile and, you know, and <laughs> just try to make them pay for it. Because, you know, sometimes later on in the game, those things could kind of pay off, whether it's, you know, playing safety and the receiver's coming across the middle, you know, he may remember that hit early and you may get a chance to pick it off or, you know, causing a fumble in the flats or something like that. So those things can definitely pay off and, you know, be an advantage for us. You think you could be friends with Phelps Lindsay? Definitely. I actually just saw him in the, uh, in the cafeteria, so it, it was great to get a chance to meet him. But um, a lot of respect for him, the way he runs the ball. You know, he's a tough, he's a tough player. So I, I'm definitely going to be, you know, um, happy and, and excited to be on the team with him. You gave him that welcome to the NFL moment. <laughs> though, <huh? laughs> we we've all had it, you know. Um, I've had it, you know. So um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I had a chance to, to get a good hit on him, so I had to take advantage of it. Uh, you're heading into your 10th season in the NFL. Yes. What have you learned about playing in this league? Um, it's just all about preparing, you know, preparing and taking care of your body. You know, those are two of the main things that, are, you know, get you to year 10. So um, I've been able to, to stay healthy thus far. You know, uh, it's definitely been a blessing for me to be able to stay healthy. So um, preparing and, and taking care of my body is definitely two of the main things that I've learned in this, uh, in this league. There's a lot of tradition in the secondary here in Denver. What do you think about joining up with guys like Chris Harris Jr.? Uh, I have a ton of respect for Chris. You know, um, he's done some great things throughout his career. You know, tons of Pro Bowls and All Pros. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be real fun to be on the other side of him or be behind him or wherever I may be. Um, but you know, um, I'm sure I'll be able to learn some things from him. You know, just how he sees the game and stuff like that. So I'm I'm, I'm I'm eager to, to kind of pick his brain and, you know, see how he's how he's been successful in all his years. So I'm um, definitely excited about that, you know, teaming up with him. Away from football, I heard you're really into fashion. Definitely. Yeah. Is this true that you, in your house in Houston, you had seven closets just for clothes? Yeah, I got quite a few closets, man. Um, uh, I hope my wife don't see this, but she'll definitely, she'll de it's, it's, a, it's a conversation every day, but um, <laughs> I got quite a few closets, got quite a few stuff. So um, the good thing about it, I get a chance to give a lot of stuff away every year. So, um, I mean, but, yeah, I, I got quite a few clothes and shoes. So. And then you have Fly Guy. That's your line? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's my clothing line, Fly Guy. Um, something I'm kind of putting on the back burner now. I don't really have the time to kind of put into it like I would like to. So that'll be something that I'll revisit, you know, later on down the line when I have more time. What do you think about my fashion? Am I all right? I like it. <laughs> no. I like it. I like it, man. Okay. Fashion, I mean, it's, it's all about, you know, what you like. You know, uh, everybody's fashion is different. You know, you may like something different from what I like. It's all about what fits you, you know, what you feel comfortable in, you know, what, you, what you're more confident in. Well, we hope Denver is a good fit for you, man. Oh, definitely. Um, I'm excited. You know, I'm glad to be here. So um, I just want to get here and get to work and fit in with the guys. All right. Thanks, Green. Appreciate it. Right, thank time. you. No problem.